operation of the ANPDR-77 Radiac set. Radiological contamination is a potential hazard, whether on the battlefield or off. It can be a threat to unprotected personnel and the mission. It is imperative that contamination be quickly identified to minimize that threat. Older radiation detection equipment, such as the ANPDR-27, ANPDR-56, and the Fiddler probe, are not as accurate or responsive as the newer generation. Employment of the new ANPDR-77 Radiac set improves the efficiency and range of detection and measurement operations, whether on the battlefield, in nuclear accident and incident response and assistance, or in routine monitoring for health and safety. The ANPDR-77 Radiac set incorporates the beta gamma detection capabilities of the ANPDR-27, the alpha detection capability of the ANPDR-56, and the X-ray detection capability of the Fiddler probe. This one set of portable radiation detection equipment can be configured to measure beta, gamma, alpha, and x-ray contamination. The set also includes accessories and basic test and repair parts for maintenance. The set weighs approximately 27 pounds. The radiac meter is battery powered. It has a cable plug to connect the various probes and an enclosed speaker for audio alarm and chirps. Rates are shown on the display screen. Trend lights indicate an increase or decrease in rates. Trend lights also act as visual alarm lights when flashing. The control panel has switches and buttons which are used during operation. Let's look at the different probes, beginning with the beta gamma probe. It is stored in the pouch. A receptacle for the radiac meter cable is located on the end opposite the detector. A probe window cover protects the detector from damage. The probe window cover is left closed when used to detect and measure gamma radiation, but must be opened when used to detect beta radiation. The operational ranges of the radiac meter with the beta gamma probe are background to 999,000 millirads per hour. Low range detection of beta radiation is 1 microrad per hour to 5 rads per hour. Next, the alpha probe. The receptacle for connection to the meter on the alpha probe is located on the end. The bottom hinged cover is secured by a thumb screw. The delicate mylar window is protected by a cover which is stored in the pouch when not in use. The window is further protected by a grill in the hinged cover. The alpha probe is secured to the outside of the pouch for carrying. The operational ranges of the radiac meter using the alpha probe are background to 999,000 counts per minute, background to 180 microcuries per square meter, and background to 999,000 disintegrations per minute per 100 square centimeters. Third and last is the X-ray probe. The X-ray probe has its own batteries, low battery indicator an energy select switch, a connecting receptacle, and a peak align adjust, which is used only in extreme cold. The handle is adjustable to place the probe at the correct height, which is 12 inches above the surface being monitored. The probe's window is fully exposed and unprotected. Caution! The X-ray probe's window is easily damaged. Never set it on a surface that could press on the window or allow it to strike objects. With the X-ray probe, the operational ranges are background to 999,000 counts per minute. The radiac set contains spare mylar windows, a pen light, lacquer, a screwdriver, and a black photo cloth for maintenance, a radioactive test sample, a strap for carrying the pouch, a waterproof technical bulletin, and a technical manual. It also contains a headset with volume control for improved audio during operation. Before each mission, pre-operational tests must be performed 
on the ANPDR-77. The operator initiates the tests, operates controls, and observes for proper displays. The radiac meter is self-testing and pre-operational tests are performed automatically by the equipment once initiated. The tests can be performed with any of the probes connected to the radiac meter. Each time a different probe is connected, the radiac meter automatically adjusts its operating characteristics. The change is indicated by the displayed arrows. There are three arrows. Only the top two arrows are displayed with the beta gamma probe. For the alpha probe, the operator can change selection to any one of the three display arrows. For the X-ray probe, the connection will display only one of the two top arrows, either of which can be selected by the operator. Note, an incorrect arrow display indicates the radiac meter is malfunctioning and should be turned in for maintenance. There are four pre-operational tests. One, segment. Two, alarm. Three, digit unit. And four, electrical which are done in sequence. The first test displays segments of the digital display, decimal points, and unit readouts for about 10 seconds. This will show that all display segments are working. To initiate the segment test, set the power switch to on, wait for the arrow display, set alarm switch to chirp, press and hold the clear test button until the alarm sounds. Release the clear test button and the display will appear. The display must read 0 .8, 0 .8, 0 .8K with three arrows. The alarm test must be performed during the 10 seconds that the segments are displayed. Setting the alarm switch to all positions ensures that the alarm sounds and shuts off and that the lights work at the proper time. During the 10 seconds the segment display appears, Set the alarm switch to this. The alarm stops. Set the alarm switch to alarm. The trend lights come on. Set it to chirp. The lights go out and the alarm sounds. Returning the alarm switch to this silences the alarm and ends the alarm test. The digit unit test begins with three zeros and sequences through numbers, decimal places, and dose units to test that they are all working in proper order. The electrical tests begin immediately after the 999K display. The one-digit codes which are shown do not pertain to the pre-operational test and can be ignored. The flashing 9 with a pulsating alarm indicates all tests are a go. A flashing 0 at the end of the pre-test or during operation indicates a problem. Note, any time a flashing zero is observed, turn off the radiac meter and report it to your supervisor. The last step is to operate the clear test button and the display will cycle through three zeros. Three zeros with arrows, then a background dose rate. The radiac set is ready. It will continue to automatically test itself during operation. Depending upon your mission, you may choose to activate some or all of the available features. This includes the chirp and alarm settings, alarm set point, background subtract, filter selection, update time, and scalar feature. The most commonly used features are the chirp alarm, alarm set point, background subtract, and filter selection. Survey and monitoring operations can be performed by listening for chirps and tones, by visually observing the meter, or using both visual and audio means. Chirp selection is made using the three-position alarm toggle. At higher rates, the chirp becomes a tone. Chirps and tone are also heard in the headset. Placing the switch in the visual position will silence the chirp or tone. In this position, the audio alarm is disabled. The alarm lights. Trend lights and count rates must be visually observed by the operator. Both the alarm lights and the audio alarm will continue to function when the switch is in the audio visual position. 
The rate at which the alarm will activate is set into the radiac meter using the TM or TB. The background subtract is an operating characteristic of the ANPDR-77 that obtains a background reading, which it will then subtract from all subsequent foreground readings. The internal filter smooths out some of the random variations in a reading. The filter feature is either selected or not selected, depending on your mission. When you prepare the meter for a beta-gamma survey, select and set desired features. This includes setting selection of filter, update time, chirp, alarm, and alarm set points. Always do a background count. No further checks are required. The probe can be carried in the pouch or held in the hand during survey operations. For gamma detection, the window cover on the end of the probe must be closed. It is open during beta detection operations and the audible alarm should be used to allow the operator to watch the positioning of the probe rather than watching the meter display. When you prepare the meter for alpha monitoring or survey, turn the power on and observe the background reading. Position the arrow to the choice of units desired for the alpha monitoring operation. Select and set the operating features for the alpha probe. With power on and features set, Remove the access cover. Centrally locate the test sample between the probe mounting feet with the alpha side facing the mylar window. The display should read between 7,000 and 14,000 counts per minute. Remove and replace the test sample in the case. Monitoring is normally performed with the alpha probe within one-eighth inch or directly on the surface being monitored. Sweep the surface in a stop-go fashion, allowing time for detection, reaction, and display. To prepare for an X-ray mission, check the X-ray probe operation. Set the meter to filtered mode and two-second update. Set the probe to peak align and place the test sample under the probe, X-ray side facing up. The meter should display 8,000 to 16,000 counts per minute above the average background counts. Remove the test sample and reset the probe energy to the desired kilo electron volts. Set the meter to the unfiltered mode. This allows recording of the background count. X-ray surveying and monitoring is performed with the extension handle positioned to maintain the probe at 12 inches or less above the surface. Other than routine preventive maintenance checks and services to the radiac sets components, accessories, and case, the only specific operator and unit maintenance authorized are repair and replacement of the mylar window and replacement of the batteries. Flashing arrows on the display indicate a low battery condition. It tells the operator that about five hours of useful battery life remains and that they should be changed at the first opportunity. An increase in display readings when the cover is removed from the alpha probe indicates a damaged mylar window. The alpha probe's mylar window can be replaced, or in the case of a pinhole, repaired. To locate pinholes with the cover on, turn the alpha probe to face a light source. Observe the meter, or listen on the headset, and slowly remove the cover. Stop removal when the meter or headset indicate an increase in count rate. Now. Completely cover the probe face with a light shield. Slowly remove the shield at a 90 degree angle to the probe cover. Stop when the meter or headset indicates an increase in count rate. The intersection of the access cover and light shield indicates the vicinity of the leak. Note drill opening location. Caution. To avoid damage, always perform the following procedures in a darkened area or beneath the photocloth light shield. To verify the location, cover the probe with the photo cloth and point the pin light at the suspected grill opening. An increase in the reading indicates the location of the leak. Remove both access cover and light shield. Mark the isolated leak with a very small dot of lacquer through the grill opening. Loosen the captive screw and turn the probe face up 
and open the hinged cover. Exposing only the hinged cover, the Mylar window is ready for repair. To repair a pinhole, increase the size of the lacquer dot to about one quarter inch. Allow the repaired Mylar windows to dry a minimum of ten minutes. If the Mylar window is not repairable, replace it with a spare from the carrying case. Install the new Mylar window into the hinged cover and onto the locating pins with the frame side facing down on the grill. Close the cover on the photo cloth. Carefully slide the cloth out and tighten the captive screw. This completes repair or replacement of the Mylar window. The probe is now ready for use. Minimizing the hazard of radiological contamination on personnel and equipment is essential to mission accomplishment. Employment of the ANPDR-77 Radiac Set enhances radiological survey and monitoring operations. With its multiple functions and portability, it provides increased efficiency and capability in detecting and measuring radiological contamination. <laughs>